What is going on, my fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here. And before you guys destroy me in the comment section, I know I'm wearing a Fortnite shirt. Okay, listen, I couldn't find either other shirts to wear today. And I found this one in a PAX West bag. So I just grabbed it and threw it on because I wanted to cover all the new news that Rockstar recently tweeted. I'm sorry. All right, forgive me. I run a Fortnite channel. I recorded a Fortnite video before this. And then I was like, oh, shoot, I got Red Dead videos to make. And here we are. Okay, so bear with me forgive me for wearing this shirt how dare i i promise you i've reached out to rockstar i'm gonna get a bunch of red dead redemption 2 shirts and i'm only gonna wear them here on this channel like it's our thing okay I, I promise so let's jump right into it we got a bunch of new information in regards to the weapons in red dead redemption 2 on top of that um how the weapons can be purchased and all the different types of variation of different types of weapons there are in the game it's a lot without further ado let's get into it so as you guys can see right off the jump we got the weaponry detail depth and choice to find every aspect of red dead redemption 2 and weapons are no exception there are over 50 unique usable weapons a massive range of options for customization and a wide selection of different ammunition types to improve accuracy range or damage the more a gun is used the better it will perform but it will also start to degrade over time if not looked after. So a trusty sidearm needs to be kept oiled and clean. Now, if you guys do not own a gun in real life, this is exactly how a gun works in real life as well. If a gun is not properly maintained over time, it will deteriorate and it won't be as good as it once was when it came out of the box and was used. So there's a grace period in a weapon's lifespan where once it's out of the box from the factory to when it's being used, if after it's being used, it is well-maintained, oiled, creased, or oiled and cleaned it will it will live a longer life and be more accurate than if you just shoot it and never clean it i've had friends in real life that have owned guns that have gone to the range and have shot hundreds of bullets and then just let their gun sit there and not clean it and not care about it doing that kills your gun sounds weird uh it will still work but it won't be as effective i mean like you know what I mean? Regardless, let's get into this. Wheeler Ronson and Co. Sporting Goods and Gun Department, the greatest mail order house on earth. We got the Cattleman Revolver, a militia favorite. And of course, I'm not going to read all this, dude, because it's a lot, but I'm going to be covering every single one of like every gun. So we got the revolver. These are all just catalogs. So think of this as an advertisement, most likely found in game in a catalog. So you can order different guns that you'd like and you can go see them in store. So the Cattleman Revolver, uh, rest the pleasures of this revolver. Then we got the Volcanic Pistol. As you guys can see, it's the most explosive pistol ever produced as that's the headline um i think what's different about this is that it's not a normal revolver slash pistol um i think this is when they started going down the less revolver route and we started going into a time where revolver was still being used but these new types of pistols were being created and this is one of them i believe next up we got the springfield rifle which is still a rifle used today it's the rifle that modernized firepower is what the headline says a perfect shot crafted by lancaster we fully guarantee this gun which is really weird because springfield is actually a real weapons company so to have a springfield rifle i'm not sure if that's like it's weird it's springfield armory but it's crafted by lancaster i'm not sure if it's the real gun but you guys know what i'm getting at here what's great about the springfield rifle is that this gun is not like a, a rifle musket this gun is a loaded rifle that can shoot 23 times per minute rifled muskets fire only two to three times per minute where a breech loading rifle can be fired up to 23 times so this gun is way faster than the musket which was much which was very popular back then once the breech loading rifle was made more popular it became more modernized and then they got rid of the musket over time how do i know so much about guns is it because i'm american i have no idea next up we got the sawed off shotgun Man, many of you guys love the sawed off shotgun it's it's a fan favorite close range this thing destroys people like it will destroy people like i don't even know why the ad is a young man's first gun like this is a scary gun to have for a kid it has terrible range but the power and it even says right here where it may lack range, it does, la does not lack power. It's crazy because that's so true. This thing is so powerful because it is so short. The power it outputs is huge, but the range is very limited because the pellets won't travel that far. Dude, I am like reading this stuff and I'm just like, how do I know so much stuff about guns? It's really sad. Next up, we got the Litchfield Repeater, the rifle that brought peace to the plains, a majestic lever action breech loading rifle. How this rifle works, pretty much you shoot, 
Then you pull the lever forward, you bring it back, and you shoot. And every time you do that, it brings in a new bullet, and you just keep doing that. And uh, it's pretty cool. I, I don't know how fast this thing shoots. It's a 44 caliber center fire metallic cartridge, and there's no more accurate and reliable repeating rifle available from any outfitter at this price. So I'm assuming this is a really competitive price gun in game, and this is a powerful, good rifle, which is good to hear. Later on in this video, I have gameplay footage of how these guns actually perform so stay on the lookout for the I, i'm super excited to show those to you next up we got a little text here that says weapon choice and customization with a myriad of customization options ranging from visual upgrades like new metals woods varnishes and engravings to performance upgrades like new barrels grip sights and scopes you can design an entirely unique weapon that looks and handles exactly the way you want to every weapon's performance varies in terms of damage range fire rate accuracy and reload speed so it's important to pick wisely depending on the situation if you guys have no idea what i just read pretty much rockstar is giving us the whole look into how much customization is coming to weapons not only can you go ahead and upgrade barrels grips sights and scopes but you can pretty much design a tire weapon that you want so like if you use let's say the repeater uh and you're just like man i really wish they had a scope or i really wish this thing had a better a barrel or it shot further i think it's possible with different types of weapon upgrades the higher rate of a double axe revolver lends itself well to shooting on the move from horseback if you're carrying something in one hand like a lantern or a small animal consider using a sawed off shotgun which packs a much bigger punch at close range than other one-handed weapons the varmint rifle is perfect for hunting small game because it's far less likely to damage the quality of the skin and meat than a firearm with a bigger shell size if you guys remember a little while ago i think like two videos ago we talked about how the types of weapons you use when hunting will devalue the animal that you're hunting uh due to the nature of the damage these weapons output so an example if you use a shotgun hunting a rabbit when you go to sell that rabbit you're gonna be giving the butcher like pieces of an animal <laughs> there's gonna be like nothing left of the poor rabbit so they're not gonna give you as much money but if you use like a bow or maybe there's slingshots, a slingshot, or you use a smaller caliber rifle like the one described in this text here, which is the, the varmint rifle, which is perfect for hunting small game, you're gonna get a lot more money for those small game animals like rabbits or birds. Lastly, we when faced with just one or two enemies, you might wanna go for a Springfield rifle, which has a slower fire rate, but delivers much higher damage. For range, a sniper rifle of some kind is obviously a good choice, but scopes can also be fitted to all other types of rifles, enabling you to switch between regular view and scope view at any time. So in a pinch, if you do have a scope on your, let's say, varmint rifle, you can go ahead and shoot these little critters uh, from far away if needed if the range allows it on top of that you can also throw it onto any rifle of your choosing of course dudes you cannot throw a scope on a shotgun but i know that question is going to come up you can't do it <laughs> next up we got some pretty dope pictures and i'm going to do you guys a solid i'm going to get rid of my face cam these pictures are ones that i've used in the past uh, i used this one for a thumbnail the other day this one i've never used in these either but let's go ahead and talk about the first top left one metals and engravings are customizable per component select different colors and engravings for the trigger guard barrel frame and more you can also choose from a variety a variety of inlay metals for engravings on each part so you guys look super closely here you can go ahead and customize your pistol as much as you want you can go ahead and add all these little designs and change the color of the grip and the trigger guard and the barrel and so much more. So there's a lot of customization here. If you guys notice, his hands are very dirty as well. Get nasty. On the right side, we got for the extra stopping power, purchase and craft a variety of ammo types, such as split point, high velocity, or explosive ammo. That's right, dudes. You heard that correctly. Explosive freaking ammo now i knew for a while explosive ammo was in the game because because we saw a clip of a weapon shooting at a carriage and the carriage exploding and then the horse's legs exploding as well and uh this just goes to show you this is actually happening um this is a super graphic shot you can see his face has been holy what the oh my god the whole front of his face is caved in oh my god god well that was freaking disgusting but next picture we got is on the bottom left which is your horse's saddle will store all your weapons be sure to select and carry the weapons you'll need when leaving your horse behind so make sure you don't like 
leave important weapons on your horse when you leave that you'll need in a fight. And then on the right side, we got a the last picture, which is carry single-handed pistols, revolvers, and single-handed sawed-off shotguns in your holsters. Upgraded and reinforced holsters will protect the weapons from de degradation against the elements, while offhand holsters give you the ability to dual wield. I think dual wielding is going to be something super exciting. It's going to be a very, very fun thing to do. Let me know in the comment section how you guys think dual wielding is going to perform overall. If you guys can see these are diff these are different revolvers. One is a longer barrel than the other. And uh, I don't know if they're the same caliber revolvers, but dudes, that looks pretty freaking awesome. Turning my face cam back on, we got a whole new section about Deadeye. If you guys d don't know, Deadeye is the slow motion range you can go ahead and do to go ahead and get accurate shots and placements where you want your bullets to hit for the most effective, I guess, shot. Deadeye is a powerful weapon of its own, temporarily slowing down time during combat so you can pick off your enemies with more precision. The new Deadeye system gradually expands and becomes more sophisticated over the course of the game, from automatically selecting your targets in your crosshairs to allowing you to manually place multiple shots on multiple targets and being able to shoot them all in slow motion, and ultimately to pinpointing the weak spots on your enemies for even deadlier accuracy. The system grows with you and your experience, and you can often provide a critical edge in life or death situations which is super awesome so as you level up and go about in red dead redemption 2 you will actually get to go ahead and grow with your dead eye system your dead eye system will go ahead and improve as time goes on as you get further and further in the story where you might need the dead eye more than you normally would anything else and of course we got some awesome screenshots on the left side we got preserving and unleashing dead eye gunfights with multiple enemies can be a critical strategy for turning the battle in your favor as you guys can see, he just shredded that guy with the dead eye system. You guys can see this little eye over it, over his uh, mini map. That's the dead eye system right there. Next up, we got the right side picture, which says paint your enemies with targets and unleash a rapid fire hail of bullets. And you guys can see he's up close and he's just going to unload all six shots into this dude. One, two, three, four. Oh, just five shots. He didn't do the six shot. Five shots. Last shot leading up to his face, which is going to be, of course, a pretty deadly shot. Actually, I think oh, all these are deadly shots looking at them. The heart, the neck, and then his his head. He's dead. <laughs> a little bit of an overkill, but he's dead. For this one, I'm going to turn off my face cam again, just so you guys can see it properly. As you guys can see, the dead eye progresses over the course of the game. You'll be able to see critical and fatal points on your enemies. This is the heart, brain, and lungs. And as you guys can see, the redness in this guy's face is just demonstrating like, hey, if you shoot me here, I will die. I think, I think everyone knew that though. Like if you get shot in the face, you're pretty much dead. And then lastly, Deadeye drains over time as you use it. You can replenish it quickly in combat scenarios by consuming provisions or tonics. So if your Deadeye is uh, no longer, you don't have any more Deadeye to use, you can go ahead and just drink something or eat something uh, to go ahead and get it back. Next up, we got a little thing that Rockstar released that I'm super excited about. This is a bolt action rifle. The bolt action rifle is strong and versatile with an ammo capacity of five rounds, an ideal choice for long range combat with multiple targets. The bolt action rifle is your sniper rifle in Red Dead Redemption 2. In theory though, all rifles can be sniper rifles because they can all have scopes, but the bolt action will most likely be your best choice for multiple targets and long range. Next up, we got the Carbon Repeater, or Carbine Repeater. It's a reliable repeating rifle with a solid firing rate and a quick reload speed thanks to the tube-loaded magazine in the weapon stock. This is what it sounds like. Ooh! Ooh! They're dead. That sounds clean, dudes. That sounds clean. That sounds clean. What's crazy, if you guys didn't notice in those shots, when the shot goes off, because he's in a valley and there's mountains around him, there's an echo. Let's listen again. It's the first shot. You can hear it. Heard it again. And right here, watch. And then again, right here. You can barely hear it. It's so faint, but there is an echo. Next up, we got the Cattleman Revolver. We talked about all these up top. Earlier in the video, the Cattleman Revolver has an ammo capacity of six rounds. It's a great all-around revolver with a good balance of damage, accuracy, and fire rate. This is what it sounds like when it's reloaded. Sadly, there's no gameplay of the revolver being shot. The next one we have is the Pump Action Shotgun. Now, this shotgun is not a shotgun we discussed here in this video because it wasn't above. 
but we do have gameplay of the pump action shotgun it's a powerful weapon should you find yourself confronted by a wild beast or an enemy in close combat the shotgun will be a great choice when you're close up with someone or they're a little bit further let's say like a room's distance away a pump shotgun is gonna do the trick dudes this this thing is gonna put somebody down for sure Ooh. Ooh. that sounds that sounds woo, woo. My God. So dudes, let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about the brand new Red Dead Redemption 2 information we have in regards to weapons and all the customization coming with it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys drop a like. I'll have another video discussing what I'm excited about in Red Dead Redemption 2, comparing things in GTA 5 and what we can do there to what we can do here. And hopefully you guys look forward to it. If you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button, turn on the little notifications. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye. Yeah.